Barry, what about the drugs that we commonly use in managing vertigo in general practice? What do you feel about them? So the first step is to make a correct diagnosis. Then the next step is to give the correct treatment. It's not on that patients get chronic treatment with vestibular sedatives without a diagnosis. In fact, patients should never get treated chronically with vestibular, sed with vestibular sedatives. These drugs have deleterious side effects, and that includes extrapyramidal disorders in the elderly, which leads to compromise in their balance. Mm. So the idea is to get the correct diagnosis, which gives you the appropriate specific treatment. It's quite common that patients respond to Stematil, for example, symptomatically, because it's a very effective anti-migraine drug, which is not well known. So quite a lot of patients who actually should be getting anti-migraine therapy get Stematil therapy, and they, in the end, if they're old enough, end up with a Parkinsonian syndrome. So I would really advise against treating patients without a clear diagnosis, and secondly, certainly advise against treating patients with uh, Stematil and, and other vestibular sedatives chronically. So it is justifiable to use it short term for, say, uh, chronic migraines uh, or recurrent symptoms? Absolutely. So the use of vestibular sedatives is entirely appropriate for acute episodes of vertigo, irrespective of the origin, for symptomatic relief. If you end up having to give the patients this drug almost on a daily basis, then the question is, what is the diagnosis and why is this patient not being correctly treated? Because with correct treatment, following a correct diagnosis, patients al almost always get better. Beta-histine is a drug that in the UK is used for Meniere's disease. Um, it's not generally recommended for other causes of recurrent vertigo, and it's especially not uh, indicated in BPPV, of course, for which the primary treatment is particle repositioning manoeuvres. The evidence base that it works in Meniere's disease is, is not strong, um, but, but that's the condition that it's used mm -hmm. for. Um, it is well tolerated, on the other hand, so, so you're likely to do very little harm by using it.